the energy discussion is continually dominated by economics and technology. No one stops to think about the moral and ethical implications of the system. And I think that's largely because the ethical and moral questions are hard to answer. It's much easier to build a wind turbine than it is to talk about how much electricity a society needs or should be using. Prior to coming to law school, I wouldn't have called myself an environmentalist. I was interested in energy issues and, and I was interested in renewable sources, but I didn't connect energy and the environment. We have pollution, climate change, water that aren't priced in how we make and use energy. When I was in my undergraduate, um, probably in my senior year, I, I started becoming uh, fascinated with the, the plight of people in developing countries that had no access to energy. Shannon Clark worked for us here at the Energy Justice Program. We just did a groundbreaking study together that looked at energy poverty and how you can actually expand access to cleaner forms of cooking and heating. She helped us put together uh, with co-authors from places like the United Nations Development Program and SARC about how South Asia and Southeast Asia um, could adopt cleaner forms of energy. And it's a, it's a program that the institutes adopted trying to highlight uh, case studies of people suffering um, or, or dealing with energy poverty. Shannon is ready to go out and do more of what she's been doing, which is work with organizations like the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission uh, to make the way that we do energy regulation in the country more accountable, more transparent, more equitable, and more fair. So you have the business side of energy, you have the policy side of energy, um, you also have the uh, regulatory side of energy. I think I've taken just about you know, every business course here along with my energy um, studies. My friends definitely make fun of me um, because I'm, I'm you know, I, I, well, I consider myself an energy geek. So anytime there's something that comes out with either emissions are higher than expected or that now um, you know there's more investment in solar or something it's oh I'm, I'm, I'm broadcasting it to the world. My grandmother came over here as um, a housemaid so she she did that in the 50s in Miami and my mother then uh, started a two-year degree but never finished um, but she did become a computer programmer and um, I would love for people to say that I was the, the woman, one and one of many, who, who helped to bring climate change issues to the forefront.